Hello everyone and welcome to Arc Anime, a platform dedicated to sharing architecture theories and philosophies. In this video, we will discuss probably the first ever architectural style in America, the prairie style of architecture. We will be diving into its origin, characteristics, and why did it come to an end. Before we begin, Make sure you are subscribed to our channel and let us know in the comments the architectural style you would like us to discuss. And now, let us begin. Origin The prairie style of architecture was originally founded by Frank Lloyd Wright and a group of young architects that included Marion Mahoney Griffin, who was the first licensed female architect in America. It emerged in Chicago in the 1900s as an approach to building the city all over again after the Great Chicago Fire that took place in 1871. The devastation opened up several new building opportunities for young architects. These young architects wanted to present new projects that would be fully American, detached from the European styles that preceded, such as the Victorian architecture. Frank Lloyd Wright drew a lot of inspiration from the arts and crafts movement. This inspiration led him to incorporate refined craftsmanship into his designs, which was also a way to honor handmade craftsmanship over the mass-produced products of the industrial age that lacked the innovation and creativity of the human mind. They wanted to create something fresh and suitable for modern American living. This style of architecture is purely a human-centered design that Frank Lloyd Wright always advocated for. Characteristics this style became an unconventional reflection of American life in the Midwest. It made the transition from an outdoor living environment to an indoor space completely seamless by providing functional and open spaces to families by installing patios and porches and large windows that allow plenty of ventilation and natural light, which are thought to be essential for the well-being of the occupants. Married to the ground! was what Frank Lloyd Wright had to say about the buildings that followed the prairie mindset. The surrounding environment embodied the structure as though the house is part of the scenery, thanks to the use of natural, locally produced materials, which were the symbol of these houses. They were literally married to the ground. To be more specific, it was married to the flat, bare landscape of the American Midwest. Horizontal Lines Many surfaces were positioned in horizontal ways to match the flat Midwest, which is in contrast to the Art Deco movement that had surfaces pointed upwards. The roofs are flatter compared to other architectural designs with steep and gabled roofs. Gabled rooftops are necessary for areas that receive a lot of snow, however, they are not entirely necessary in the Midwest. The low roof design helped the homes flow seamlessly, with prairie landscape from which this style gets its name. You can see the flat surfaces here in these two prairie houses, handmade craftsmanship. Similar to the art and crafts movement, Prairie Style's home incorporated a lot of hand-wrought woodwork and art glass. However, most enhancements were subtly built into the structure and were not overly excessive or detailed. Simplicity was also a pillar of the prairie style. They center their focus on communicating the home's sturdiness and durability. Prairie homes usually hold simple external features with minimal structures and decorations. This style wanted natural elements to shine in their pure form. The woodwork was kept simple and incorporated smooth wood bands so the wood grain could be admired. Wood was a very vital element since it is solid and durable and less exposed to damage. How did it come to an end? The Prairie Style's popularity faded rapidly in the United States after 1915, although its influence can be seen in everything from modernist architecture to mid-century ranches. Frank Lloyd Wright's idea was to introduce organic architecture to help pave the way towards sustainability. This is seen in the use of natural materials while the architect focused on incorporating modern designs into the surrounding landscape. Finding energy efficient solutions by working with the land was the main drive behind the architect's dream. The prairie style was one of the first styles of architecture to incorporate modern ideas that form 
follows function. It was definitely the first step towards modern architecture. We have now reached the end of today's video. We would like to thank you all for staying till the end. Let us know in the comments what style you would like us to discuss next. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on our next video. Thank you and we hope you enjoyed this one.